All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, we have the 2017 year in review. So this is like a review of all the trucks we got for 2017 and 164. I am missing, I think, three. I'm gonna say two or three. Um. So yeah, let's just get on the trucks. So, um, this is arguably one of the best years we've ever gotten. We had some pretty good trucks, um, but there were some bad ones, and those will be pinpointed in future videos. Let's start off with Case A. So, we had a release of Predator and kind of like a flashback kind of look. Yellow Ultra Loco with Purple Flames, X-Ray Jester, the first two chromes we got, which is a brand new series, so it just replaces the most dominant color with a Z-Mac kind of chrome color. Another new series is the flashbacks, so this is the first one is Hot Wheels. This is like 2000, 2002, this version is. And then B case is Black Adult Toro Loco, but C case we have Mud Treads Titan and Zombie Hunter, but a bit of an updated graphic, just put the name on there. Green Bad News, which is a very bad truck. Orange Grave Digger, we did not get the purple one. So this is just weird, we only got the orange. The final, finally, the release of a blue NEA, and then the Feral Medusa, which actually never ran in real life, unfortunately. D case, which is like the first bad case, we had uh, the dark red Ultra Loco. Dragon Edge Glow with the green, which I actually did like. I don't know why a lot of people don't like it. Batman Edge Glow with blue, which I don't like. I just don't think it's right. And another chrome, this is Ultra Loco, and this happens to be probably one of my favorites. Um, this feature one that I think I like more. So we have E-Case, which really kicked off 2017. We had the return of Thunder 4x4 in Mud Treads. Doomsday Color Treads, in which they still did not update the body. It's still an NEA. Pink Thrasher, but it's red. Cherry red and an X-ray, so if you don't like it, that's pretty understandable. Green Jurassic Attack, which is actually a prototype. Um... The Green Jurassic Attack was a prototype itself, written up by, I think, Don Frankish, who drove Maniac. Chrome Avenger, a bit and another flashback to the World Finals Chrome Avenger. Team Mentz, another flashback. Fucking old voice crack. Um, this happens to be one of my favorite flags from this year. I really like it. And then the World Finals 18 Team Hot Wheels, which probably has to be my favorite out of this case, just because of the design. G case was another really bad one. All I'm missing from this is Iron Man. But um yeah, Crustacean just with blue rims. Yellow Max D with less detail. And by far one of the best World Finals Avengers release, like the, the scrap metal one. Like the flat paint on this. So H case was the first case we got of the year with like new new trucks, and you'll see them in a little bit. So we had the first new tool mutt, which is Mosh Mutt Dalmatian, which they pretty much nailed all three of the mutts except one, and I'll pinpoint that when we get to it. Flashback Michigan Ice Monster, which is a very big surprise, but it's on a Titan body. I actually like it. The flag's pretty cool as well. Shark Shock and Junkyard Dog were the first brand new trucks of the year, and both of them actually come with flat paint jobs. This is a fantasy model. There's not a real truck in real life, but it is pretty cool. And then for Mossma Junkyard Dog, we finally got a Mercury Mutt. So I really like that. Case K was another big case. Two color treads, Higher Education, which happens to be my favorite. And then Ice Cream Man. Interesting about this, has dark blue rims. This is the second truck, second color treads truck to have a different colored rim than black. Grave Digger Color Treads from 2016 has chrome. This one has dark blue. X-Ray Cletus, but it's a new tool or new design, apparently and still they make it an x-ray. Here's the other mutt that they did not technically get correct because they put the tongue on Rottweiler and Rottweiler does not have a tongue. Finally, World Finals Titan, which I think is something we've all waited for. I forget which year this is from. Um, I used to know it, but right now it's just not really stuck in my head. Gas Monkey, which is a bit of a disappointment because Grill was not accurately correct, but the graphics on it are pretty sick, and I do really like this truck. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's a terrible truck, but they could have done a bit better with the grill. An alien invasion, which is something I never expected, and has been my favorite truck this year. 
You can see it used to be Iron Man. Case cell is a pretty terrible case. Um, I got Soldier Fortune Black Ops from it because it doesn't have the gun. And all I need is Dragon from that. M case was another. It was a short but good one. Um, so we had two kind of re-releases: Thrasher and Mud Treads, and Pirates Curse and Edge Glow, which I'm not a complete fan of. But I digress. Yellow Zombie. Finally, we got a colored zombie after a really long time. And what can I say? Pretty good. Not my favorite. Not the best. Flashback King Crunch. And actually, I've never seen this body until I saw the photo of it. And I believe this ran in the early 90s, if you want to correct me on that. This had been the highlight of the year. Payback for that 2016 piece of crap Gold Max D. We have a real one. This is actually in the Chrome series. It's Chrome Max D. I, I think they should have just put in like Epic Editions because it's really the gold one. But. Bounty Hunter Edge Glow, this is in blue, but there was a five pack exclusive with it in yellow, which I personally think they should have done. Gravedigger Colored Treads, which I probably was inspired by Mac Bulldog Max Custom. Green Mega Rex, Mega Rex. Not a real check in real life, but I'm happy they did something new with it, and I do like the green. New Tool Metal Militia, this happened, and this is one of my favorite recastings because it's in flat black, but they did get the graphics pretty accurate there. There's a lot of disappointment with this truck, and I think the main key here is the dirt treads. So yeah, there's Mad Scientist. PKs didn't really have too much to offer. We had Mohawk Warrior in chrome rims. X-Ray Barbarian, which is another like cherry reddish kind of color, as you can tell from Shocker. Flashback Gravedigger, I think there's like the fifth one we may have gotten of this. But um, the thing I don't like about flashbacks is that they have BKTs on them. Like, they're old trucks. They didn't have BKTs then. Chrome Captain's Chris, my favorite chrome they released this year. Don't know why I like it. I just like it. It looks cool in the willy body. I miss this truck. I wish they kept it. All right. Q case, the final case of the year. We had Chrome Gritter, which is released in the Chrome series, which is kind of lazy. But um, there's no world finals on the hood. And the flag was changed a little bit, which I do like. Backdraft Mud. Finally, Monster. I'm surprised they didn't put Monster Mutt in case H just to kind of kick it off with just the original Monster Mutt. But, new school Monster Mutt. Flashback Avenger, which, in my opinion, should have been a darker green, not more of an aqua one. Um, so, yeah, not my favorite flashback. Yet again, just an amazing truck from this year. Megalodon. I'm very surprised they made it so quickly. But, yeah. Flag is pretty cool as well with the shark on there. All right, so now we have like special series, so like Walmart exclusives and such. So um, yeah, the very stupid silver series. Yes, I do not like these. Grave Digger, Max D, El Toro Loco, Avenger, and Mohawk Warrior. That was the whole first wave. I gotta say, Max D was my favorite. I just think it looked the nicest of all of them, even though I think there's a pretty lazy set. Grave Digger the Legend, which is very unexpected. Captain's, not Captain's Heroes. Crustacean, which I think is the dumbest one they have of here. I mean, just think it's stupid. Zombie Hunter. Dragon and Team Hot Wheels, which I think I like. I mean, they're pretty more deserving of it. The Holidays, you have Mohawk Warrior. Team Hot Wheels, which now has a white chassis compared to the black one last year. Finally, a new tool Grave Digger um, Holiday. Along with a new tool Monster Mutt. So pretty much they kept the holidays the same this year. Yet again, a bit of laziness. And then the Superstore exclusive Halloween El Toro Loco. So, yep, we didn't we did get another Halloween truck this year, and it's like the skeleton El Toro Loco. As you can tell, it's like the color of like bones. I thought it was pretty cool. I think I like Halloween Zombie more, but it's definitely something worth having in your collection. So um, yeah, guys, that's it. And that's really what 2017 had to offer in trucks i'm sorry sorry i do not have the blackouts um i think they're stupid i think they're dumb they make them hard to find i think it's dumb my camera will focus but yeah guys thank you all for watching and as always be sure to like comment and subscribe see ya